and welcome to my channel i'm angelique so today i'm coming back to you guys with yet another new unit this one is from the sensational bare lace collection and it's in the style y part cassia in the color number two so since this unit is from the bare lace bare luxe lace wig collection you are going to notice that it does say it has the non-lift melt bare luxe lace which is 40 percent thinner lace a 20 percent larger grid it's going to come with that deep and wide y-shaped parting it says that the lace dissipates light for a non-reflective matte finish and it's stronger reinforced tear resistant lace material. Now as far as the cap construction on this one, you are going to get a clean pre-plugged hairline with baby hairs. It does come with a breathable mesh cap with a wig band and silicone lining for a secure installs. You're going to get two combs in the front, one comb in the back as well as your adjustable straps. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just go in with my Eben Lace Tint Spray in the color medium dark brown and just tint that lace. And I have been straying away from using this lace tint a little bit just because I do notice that it tends to bleed through and kind of get onto the hair itself. So that's just something to note you guys. So I just wanted to show you guys how it's going to look straight out of the box so I decided to pop it on the mannequin. This unit is 14 inches and like I said, it's a kinky curly texture. So it's kind of giving like short afro vibe realness. So now I'm just going to go in and start cutting the lace off of it. I like to go in with my embroidering scissors and just start cutting the lace in sections just to make it easier to start manipulating around that hairline. Next I'm just going to go in with my scalloped pinking shears and just start cutting that lace off since you do want to cut in a wavy or zigzag pattern just to make the melt more realistic and not leave a harsh line of demarcation the pinking shears just makes it a whole lot easier instead of maneuvering with the embroidering scissors up and down I tend to go back and forth and use both of them and as you can see for certain parts I'll switch back to my embroidering scissors just to kind of clean up my curvature get closer to the hairline and just get rid of any additional lace that I'm seeing and then I'm gonna switch right back to my pinking shears and continue that process of just cutting the lace off so once I have the lace off, I'm just going to pop it on my head, get it situated, and see how I'm liking the look of it. As far as the hairline on this one, I feel like it looked pretty good straight out of the box, so I didn't feel the need to go in and plug anything out. And plus, also I just wanted to do an install showing you guys how it would look for you if you were to just wear it straight out of the box without doing additional manipulation as far as like plucking out the hairline. And based on the style of this unit, I wanted to do yet another baby hairless install. So I just went in and started brushing those baby hairs back into the hairline and getting them out of my face. Next, I'm going to go in with my Esha Melt Spray and start going around the perimeter of my hairline just to keep that wig in place. And then I'm going to slide the wig forward and start placing it down on my head so that it sticks down to that product. Now I didn't do this entirely baby hairless. I did go in with just my swoop in the front. Other than that, that's the only little baby hair addition that I added. So yes, it does come with baby hairs. The volume on this one, y'all, is definitely a good amount of hair. It's like 150 to 180%. So if you're somebody who likes a realistic kinky curly texture, if you're somebody who likes volume and body, I think that you will like this one. One thing that I did like about this unit is the fact that it was super quick and easy to install. I didn't really need to do much, especially because it's just that one singular defined parting space going right down the middle. But what I did like about it is the fact that the hairline looks so nice. Even though it is a simple middle part, you are able to do multiple styling options, which I'm going to show you guys. So I was a fan of that for sure. So if you're somebody who doesn't really feel comfortable styling frontals and closures, I feel like this will be a good option because you're able to get away with wearing multiple styles even though it only does come with that defined part going right down the middle just because of the fact that the hairline was well done at least in my opinion. So as far as the texture on this one, you are going to notice that it's like a dried out yakky texture and because it is a kinky curly unit, the more that you manipulate these curls out, you are going to get frizziness. So that's just something to keep in mind, but I also feel like that's just something that you deal with when it comes to kinky curly hair in general, whether it's, whether it's real hair, whether it's a synthetic wig, whether it's a human hair wig, that's just going to happen if you start to finger comb those curls out. So just keep that in mind. 
So as far as the cap size on this one, I'm gonna say this one is definitely coming off small and medium head friendly. I didn't adjust the straps at all and I feel like it is fitting my head perfectly. So I think if your head is any bit bigger than mine, mine is 22 to 22 and a half inches in circumference, this one could be an issue for you. And I don't see there being a super amount of stretch to the cap, so that's just something to keep in mind. As far as my cons and pros on this unit, I really don't think that I have any cons when it comes to this unit. Like I said, it is kinky curly hair, so you are going to get that frizziness the more that you finger comb it out. That's just something that you're going to deal with in general, so I wouldn't necessarily say that that's a con for me. That's probably the only thing I have to say of note, but as far as the pros on this unit, I really like the way that it looks, the texture. I feel like it looks super natural, looks very realistic. I really like the fact that the hairline was very well done, and just like I showed you guys, I was able to do multiple styling options, even though it's just a singular part going right down the middle. I like the length of it. This one is 14 inches, so like I said, it's like that natural little cute kind of afro vibe and I feel like this would be cute for everyday hair even though I would say keep your hands out of it unless you want that like more realistic less defined curls with frizziness this is definitely going to be lazy girl hair approved I'm going to say because of the length I could definitely see this being a simple and quick everyday unit so as a whole I'm definitely here for this one I feel like it was worth it and I think if you guys are into this style you'll you'll definitely be digging this one so that's pretty much all I have to say about this unit I hope you guys found this video helpful if it was just make sure you give me a like give me a subscribe comment down below any of the units you want pick up in any of the colors honey and until then i hope to see you guys soon bye